Hello, uh, I thought I'd just do a, a short video here on um, how to balance a propeller. Now this is with a quadcopter mainly, but uh, I think you can do it with most aircraft. This is the, uh, the thing you'll be using to balance a propeller. Uh, there's two little magnets, there's one in there and one in there. Now when you assemble this or when you buy it, oh by the way this one's built mainly for um, boat propellers, because uh, I do 25cc uh, petrol powerboats as well and I use this for balancing the propellers. <clears throat> now when you buy it, it'll come in a small kit and you just bolt things together. And um, the most important thing is, make sure that when you put this together, you've got a gap between the magnet and the spindle. Um, as you can see, it just sticks on with the magnet, and that gap must be there, because you only want it balanced on one end. As you can see, if you put a piece of paper through, it slides through the gap. And the idea of that <coughs> is so when you put your propeller on, this is one off of my quadcopter, okay, you might have to drill out the, the centre point to match uh, the appropriate spindle. You get quite a few of these with the kit, all different sizes, and so the appropriate one would be the one for the motors you're using. Now you you probably find you need to drill the um the, the, the centre part of the prop out of the boss. Now you just make sure that fits okay. Okay, stick it on the magnet and let it balance. Now, as you can see, this one is slightly out of balance. Okay, and if I turn it round, turn it round whichever way you like, it's still not quite there. I've put a little bit of tape on the uh, propeller you can see there, uh, black tape. Now, I, it's not quite there yet. It's a bit, bit heavy on this end. So um, I'll just take a, a look, another piece of tape and oh, I'd say just stick it about there. Um, I mean it stays on there when the thing's spinning. You shouldn't have a problem with that. Okay, now you just put that on magnetised, put it on there. Uh, it's a little bit heavy that end now. So if I take that off and you can play around with this, you can use sellotape, any kind of tape really because it has to be very light um, there we go oh, I don't know, it's not far out still a fraction heavy on that end uh, let's move it back in a bit I mean you can muck around with this for ages I'll put it on the other side now because it's getting a little bit close to the other piece <coughs> Let's see how that goes. That's better. Now that's really good enough. Just turn it round. Mm, still needs a little bit more. All you need to do <coughs> is cut the pieces. Um, there's one piece there. There's another piece that side. Um, you shouldn't have to put too much on it and um, that's really all there is to it and as long as you make sure all four of them are, are, are joined and make sure that little gap is there so the magnet's only holding it one end and the other magnet just holds it uh, central like that okay that's not too bad it's still a little bit heavy but I mean <clears throat> it doesn't take it doesn't take too long to just move the tape backwards and forwards to make it uh, balanced and there it is that's ready to go on the quad, and uh, I must get my table levelled sometime. But uh, that's ready to go, and you shouldn't get any vibration from that at all. So there you go, that's how it's done. Simple as that. <coughs>